Okay, so in number 38 here, they wanted you to find all points with integer coordinates that were a distance of five units away from the origin. So kind of a tricky little problem here. All points, all total points that are five units away from the origin would be a circle that looks something like this. And I would imagine that everybody got the four points that are straight to the right, straight above, straight left, and straight down from the origin right here. So what do we have there, guys? We've got five, zero, zero, five, negative five, zero, and then zero, negative five. So like I said, I would imagine most of us thought of that. Um, the tricky thing about this problem here is they, they chose that value of five for the radius of this circle right here because something important happens with the number five. And I, I don't have a great way to tell you guys to think of this without just giving you the answer. So, well, here it goes. Remember that for any point that's located on that circle, let me switch to green for just a second, any point that's located on that circle, you could kind of triangulate that point in a way that we've talked about uh, you know, in the past with an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. Well, the nice thing about this here is that if your radius is five, there is a pair of integer coordinates that'll make this work. And I didn't draw it terribly well, so let me go back to red and do this for real now. One of the things I'm hoping you guys remember is that there's a Pythagorean triple of three four, and five. And what that tells me is that maybe right here, if I were to draw that piece and this piece right here, my radius would be five. And I guess the way I've drawn it here, this looks like my longer leg on the bottom, which would be four, and my shorter leg is over here on the right, and that's going to be three. So the coordinates of this point then, starting from the origin, would be four to the right and three units up. So we get the ordered pair four, three. That's another ordered pair with integer coordinates that's five units from the origin. Now, guys, this would not work if they had told us to let r equal six. Why? Because there's no Pythagorean triple here that ends in a six, but there is one that ends in a five. So that's where they were kind of steering you on this problem here. Now we're not done yet. Still in the first quadrant, everybody, there's another point right up here that if I were to draw this piece and this piece right here, now it's my short horizontal leg that's three and that vertical piece, which is four. So that would be the ordered pair three, four, and I've come up with two additional answers to this problem to go along with the four that I had right here. And hoping you guys can see this, there's one right here and there's one right here. There's two in each quadrant. And again, I think you guys can figure out what's going on at that point and what's going on at this point right over here. This one, if I've got that right, would be negative three, comma four, and this one over here would be negative four comma three. And then guess what? There's another one here and another one here in the third quadrant and one here and one here in the fourth. So I'll let you figure the, the rest of those out on your own. But what that means for me, guys, is let's see, there are two, three times four. Looks like there's 12 total points for which that occurs. Now, the second part to this problem, if I remember this right, I, uh, here we go, is they wanted you to do this from a particular ordered pair instead of from the origin. So this one is now five units away from the point two, three. So I'm not going to do this whole thing with you guys because it's really the exact same concept right here. But if we jumped to the ordered pair two, three, so two units to the right, and three units up, now our starting point is right here. So again, I'll draw a circle with a radius of five from that point. And once again, we're gonna get points right above, right below, straight right, and straight left from the ordered pair two, three. So five units to the right of that would be seven, three. Uh, let's see, I'll go down. Five units down from that would be two, and three minus five would be negative two. And then you can really play the same game again that we did on the last one, guys, right here, and then straight down, there we go. And here, there's a three, four, five triangle. So four, three, and five. But again, this time we're starting from two, three. So I'm moving four units to the right of two, that would give me an x coordinate of six, and then three units up from a y coordinate of three, six, six, 
is another solution to the second part of this problem. And I think you guys can get it from there. So that's how we would handle 38. You know, a lot of people over the years have asked me, how was I supposed to know that there were three, four, five triples here? And again, I don't have a great answer to that um, other than to say, hey, hopefully it makes some sense now. And if you see something like that in the future, hopefully you'll know what to do with it.